welcome to Mochi's Mochi Style Hi everyone and welcome back. So in today's video I'll be showing you how to make this beautiful chandelier. So if you want to see how I made it, just keep watching. So here's my inspiration here. This is going for $639. And I was also inspired by this here. I really like the texture of this gold. So here are the items that I'm using. I'm using this fruit basket from Walmart. Two packs of this crystal gems here. And two packs of this chandelier drop. So here's my basket here. I've already spray painted it gold. I really like the size of this basket and the shape of it. And I like how the bottom is. It's really going to help us create that chandelier piece that we're going for. So here's my crystal gems here. I've already done one of it, but I'll go ahead and show you how I did it. So to do this, I separated the ring just a little bit to fit the top of my basket. And then I attached it to the very top of that basket. And I counted seven of the gems. And the link following the seventh gem, I attached it to the second level of the basket. So again, I'll show you what I did. Attach the first link to the very top of the basket. And then I counted seven of the gems and the link following the seventh gem, I placed that onto the second level of this basket. It is pretty easy and pretty straightforward. So here is what I have already done. So I'll go ahead and repeat the same steps um, all over this basket. The next step is to attach the chandelier drops to the bottom. So what I did is I uh, took out the ring right where the bottom of the basket stops. And that's where we're gonna place our chandelier drop. So all I did was just attach the drop where the ring was before and that is it. So I'll show you that again. You want to go ahead and attach your chandelier drop to where the ring was. And I'm just going to go ahead and repeat that for all the bottom part of this uh, chandelier. Next, I took the small chandelier drops with five crystals attached to it and I placed that all over the first level of my chandelier. Uh, this step can be optional. And also for the bottom part I will be attaching the same small chandelier drops with five crystals and to attach that I am going to go ahead and attach my uh, metal ring right in the middle of that basket. So I used about 10 of the small chandelier drops and it looks really, really nice. And the last step is to take this crystal ball here that I have with about six crystal gems attached to it. And that's also going to go in the middle. And here's the final result of my DIY here. I really, really love the way this turned out and it really goes well with my style. I am so happy with this. This is so beautiful. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. I think it turned out so beautiful. I placed it over a recess light in my hallway upstairs. I think this would be a good chandelier for a closet, for a hallway, a bathroom. Let me know what you would do with this if you were to create it. Where would you place it in your home? 
let's get the conversation going in the comment section down below so i hope you guys enjoyed this diy if you did please go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and if you're new to our channel i'd love for you to join the moji style family by hitting that subscribe button and until next time you guys have a blessed week love you all bye bye